Now I'm going to go, when do I use my present value formula? What is the difference between present value and future value? Listen to me very, very carefully. Future value, I'm saving for the future, and it's my F formula on my formula sheet. The future value formula on the formula sheet. Now, present value. Present value means present. I want the money now. I need the money now. Now, why do you need the money now? Sometimes you need to buy a car now and you do not have the money, so you are going to make a loan. So if you're making a loan, if you go to the bank and you ask the bank, can I make a loan? That means they're going to give you the money, you will have the money, so it is a present value. You want to go and study, right? So you want to go study next year. Great 12s and I hope you all want to go study next year. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a loan. You can't start saving now to go and study if you want to go study next year. You needed to save a few years ago. So if you didn't save, what if you didn't save, you didn't make a saving, but you want to go study? Then you're going to go and make a student loan. You're going to go to the bank. You're going to ask for money. You're going to say, I need the money for next year. So when you make a loan, it is a present value formula. Do you understand the difference between present and future? Future means I'm saving for the future. Present value means I'm making a loan. I need the money now to go and study. Or I need the money now to go and buy a car. Oh, I need the money now to go buy a GHD. Don't go make a loan for that. Rather wait till you can save the money for that GHD. So let's go to our next slide, which is present value. Okay, so I put present value down there. And present value formula looks like this. I think you can all see that. P, this is quite a long formula, is equal to X. Open up your bracket. 1 minus 1 plus i to the power of negative n. That's the big difference in present and future value. In your future value, it is positive n. In the present value, it is negative n. Divided by i. There is your present value formula. And grade 12, don't worry. You have these formulas on your formula sheet. Remember again, y why am I using present value? Because I want the money now. I need a loan now. I need to go study next year. I didn't save. I didn't have money to save. If your marks are good enough, you can maybe go make a loan by the bank. And what you're going to do is you're going to know this is present value. So after today's lesson, do you know what you're going to be able to do? You are going to be able to work out your own things. You're going to be able to use this formula and you're going to see, okay, maybe if I make a loan, how much will I need to pay these people back? So let's see and let's look at our first example. Okay, I've got example number one. Listen very carefully. Clyde wants to become an engineer. Guys, we don't have a lot of engineers in our country, so if your maths marks and your science marks are good, you can study engineering. Clyde wants to become an engineer, all right, and applies for a student loan of 200,000 Rand to cover the cost of his college studies. Remember, he's making a loan. Just look at that loan quickly for me. Look at that word, loan. When you see the word loan, you didn't save. You're making a loan. It's a present value formula. Okay. Saving, future. Loan, present. So Clyde wants to become an engineer and he goes to the bank and he asks for a loan of 200,000 Rand to cover his cost for his college studies. The loan is approved. Yes, he can go study. The loan is approved. Maybe his marks were good enough. They have faith in him. And the loan is approved at an interest rate of 10,25% per annum compounded monthly. He prefers to pay the loan in 48 equal monthly payments. He's going to pay the loan in 48 equal monthly payments. These payments start one month after receiving the loan. Grade 12, please look at that word, one month after receiving the loan. You don't do anything. I'm going to explain to you exactly what you're going to do. Calculate 
his monthly repayments. I'd love to do both sums. I wish, I hope that I'm going to have enough time because this is such an important question. I've seen it in almost every paper. Okay, so he needs how much money? Go slowly with me. He needs 200,000 rand. 200,000 is his loan. Everybody, 200,000 is his loan. You do not have X because Clyde wants to know how much he needs to pay every month. So you do not have X. He wants to know how much he needs to repay every month. 1 minus, leave it like that. 1 plus. Now what is your interest rate? What is your interest rate? 10,25%. So can we look? 0, 1, 0, 2, Five. That's fantastic. How is it compounded, everybody? My interest rate is compounded. How? It is compounded monthly. Yes. So that's 12 there. My N is going to be 48 multiplied by 12. Over what is my interest rate now? My interest rate here is going to be 0, 0,1025 compounded monthly. There you go. So look at the sum quickly. Clyde wants to become an engineer. He applies for a student loan of 200,000 rand. There's my 200,000. What is X? I do not know. My interest rate is that. Everybody, that is perfect. I just want to see something that is good. And now you have in. He wants to make 48 equal payments and you're going to go, guys, this is going to be just 48 because it's 48 equal payments. So leave this as 48. We didn't work with years. Just quickly, a, just look at your sum again. 200,000 Rand is your loan. You want to know how much you have to pay back monthly. So X I do not have. What is my interest rate? 10,25%. How is it compounded? It is compounded monthly. Remember quickly, if they said four years, I would have said four times 12. But now they said 48 equal monthly payments. Fantastic. So if it's 48 equal monthly payments, leave this as 48. And your interest rate here, 0, 0,1025 over 12. You are looking for X again. Go slowly with me. If I am looking for X, what do I do? I say X is equal to this multiplied by that. So it is 200,000 multiplied by 0, 0,1025 over 12. I'm cross multiplying there, divided by my entire bracket. And my entire bracket is 1 minus 1 plus 0, 1025 over 12. Let's revisit this 48. It's 48 equal monthly payments. So you leave it as that. Okay, if everybody work that out, let's go on our calculators. I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that quickly. Everybody works on their calculators. Punch in nicely, everybody. I trust that you all understand the sum. And I'm going to look at some questions while you guys are working. And you have, I got brilliant, brilliant answers. The answers are correct. X is equal to 5,096 rand and 96 cents. I can't believe it. I'm getting such good answers. Well done, Margo from Plutusville High School. Well done, Stefan from Plutusville High School. I have Shemaine also from Plutusville, Pumlani. That was fantastic. Pumlani, you are from Wellington Secondary. Just round off your answer there. You've got 5626,17. Remember, I just round it off to 5096,56. Okay, can I just ask you something quickly? Let's revisit the 48 again. Can't multiply by 12. Look, I scratched it out because it's normally a mistake that we make. So we scratch it out. It's 48 equal monthly payments. So your 48 remains 48. How much must Clyde pay back every month? 5096. Comma five six. Fantastic. 
I cannot believe it. Nikita Walters from Lukov Secondary School. Your answer is beautiful. You guys understand.